Now, uh, this is a fairly bold move for a royal, royal wouldn't you say, Matthew? Yeah, it's, it's exciting. I mean, uh, Princess Diana in 1987, I think, was the first public figure to shake hands with somebody with AIDS, and that was a, a global thing that went all over the world and, and changed uh, the way people thought of people with HIV and AIDS. It was, a, I guess, a symbol of kind of affection towards the gay community in, to some degree. So it, it feels exciting and inspiring and, and hopefully positive. And I think in the UK, we're, you know, we're in a quite a good place, but around the world in more conservative countries, I think this will cause ripples and, and hopefully it will be a strong, positive message. It's a strong photo as well. How long did it take for you to um, agree with the palace that uh, and Prince William himself that he would do this? Well, I wrote to him a few years ago when I'd written about mental health. I am a recovering alcoholic myself, and, and I realised that's because I uh, grew up in a society which constantly to invalidated me and told me that you're disgusting, you're evil, you may go to hell, you won't have a relationship, and there was a lot of bullying and so on, and no one to talk to about that. I've got a book out about it tomorrow. Um, mm. And uh, I wrote to him about it and just to ask for help because I, I've come across so many parents of children who killed themselves or died from a drug overdose, whatever it may be, in horrible circumstances. And it seems that the media generally is afraid of talking about it. And uh, as the future king, I hoped he would be concerned and would talk about it. And I'm so happy that he agreed to. When he finally agreed, how quick did it all happen? Very quickly, we got, we, we, we got a phone call from Kensington Palace um, at the end of last year and uh, we were discussing what would be the best way to do it, how we would do it. We were going to do it in January, didn't work out then for timing reasons and, and, and it's happened now and it's, I'm very grateful it has. With it happening now, do you see it as timely given what happened at the weekend in Orlando? Well, we did this on the 12th of May. It went to press about a week ago. Uh, obviously, we're all completely horrified by what's happened. I, I hope that it will be seen as a positive thing in, in light of this terrible tragedy and maybe a small beacon of, of light that maybe we are moving overall in the right direction, hopefully. Um, but I think it's really important to understand that violence like that it, it doesn't come out of nowhere. No. It, come, it starts in schools, with bullying in schools, which often isn't, isn't dealt with. Sometimes we hear it from the media, sometimes we hear it from politicians and from religious figures. And so I think tackling it in schools for the sake of everybody, we all want to get on, we all want to respect each other, that will make society a better place for all of us.